Now, as you recall, because you are learned, intrepid, led by my spirit, children of mine that read the gospel and you understand the spirit of truth, here's what I tell the spirit of truth, because we are the Holy Spirit, the same. is going to tell you what you need to know regarding your reconciliation. Because I usually take an expansive approach and then for those that have true ears to hear, true eyes to see, they hear what they need to from the Holy Spirit who is me. <clears throat> Hero of Israel, the Lord is one. That is important. God Almighty. You need to take into account I know what the enemy may be planting in your spouse's heart as far as their view of you, their path to do they feel this is going to fulfill them and satisfy them because the life, the walk, eternal life is not something that seems appealing to them at the moment. All of the factors of the deception people practice as a normal thought process, who they become versus who I know they are. When I think about my wife and I pray for my wife all the time, <clears throat> there's times where she could be 200 miles away and I feel close to her. There's times she can be here and I feel distant from her. So the proximity of them as far as their understanding that going to a building does not make you in Christ. Being with me in the spirit, hearing my voice, following my instructions, my commands. Creates an entirely different version of them because the scripture says Your heart can harden, and spiritually, you can die. Spiritually. As opposed to dying to self, which has to happen for you to truly become a new creation, and then you're looking at the obvious. Do they exhibit the fruits of the Spirit? And it's supposed to say sound mind. <clears throat> Did they make vows? I will hold them to those vows. We were told to get married on paper, so that's still our battle. We were told that years ago. Nothing's going to change that. I do not have a deceptive spirit. In husband mode, <clears throat> because I, like many people in my kingdom, wake up with a song in my spirit and it tells me how my wife feels this one is must be love on the brain and sometimes i wake up with worship so in husband mode i'd rather hear the first part and then that worship goes to my heavenly father who is me so explaining your kingdom marriage to you, I can't not allow free will to be involved in it. You want your spouse to be with you because they're in love with you. You want your spouse to be with you because they see you. That they understand 
the nuances that make you you. What I do when I'm teaching the heavenlies is this is how you became you. Breath of life. You made all your decisions before you even entered a vessel. Outside of time, because you're looking at it as time does not exist, and technically it doesn't. There is only what you are doing and how it is impacting our relationship. So I would caution people to the rule of thumb, follow it. And it's always been this way within the church. <clears throat> and it was in the ancient times. You should never be alone with the opposite sex. Even if you think you're ministering or not, you shouldn't. You should take caution to not do the things that allow the devil to put that dart in your spouse's mind. This is what this person is really doing. You're blessed because you have my counsel and I can tell you, no, don't worry about that. That's not what's going on. For the last three and a half years, I've had to walk by faith through it. When you've been separated for years and things like that, <clears throat> there is a lot that you probably would not appreciate. And that's a gift of not knowing everything. My Heavenly Father does. So what I impart to you is what you need to know. And it's a protective Heavenly Father, Everlasting Father mindset that I have towards all of my kids. And we confirmed yesterday you were being led out of something and into something. Many I have led, all right. Now take that step of faith. Leave the modern church system behind, embrace the way and my kingdom. Now in my kingdom, many will call it old school, but you gotta consider, I'm a fan of Smith Wigglesworth, Kathleen Coleman, Amy McPherson. David Wilkerson, Billy Graham, of course, of course, of course. I won't jump into that. And oh, some of my teachings are for my advanced that have the discipline to understand the value in avoiding judgment and wrath. And we're all pioneering God's will in this particular day and age and what is actually happening and affecting us. My wife had a uh, <clears throat> incident <clears throat> where the devil led her and it shamed her and then I had to commit an act that was the most shameful act I could think of to be on her level. When you're talking about the spiritual heavenly things, my reasons for doing things or directing you may not be clear to you because I'm not looking at it as the impact it's going to have in the natural. I'm teaching you something or strengthening you in a way that not everyone is receiving. So you need to not really be too concerned 
of how you are perceived by those that either had spiritual eyes and lost them, had ears to hear and can no longer hear, and we confirm that in scripture, or else they would turn and I would heal them. <clears throat> and definitely, you're not going to be accepted by those that are the things of God cannot be understood by those with the natural mind. Those, it may seem like I'm jumping around. I'm just proving that I'm saying whatever the Holy Spirit tells me to say. I've been watching my prophets and being taken into the air. Your thoughts are circular a lot of times and you may seem scatterbrained. Some of them, I can't even remember this verse, but I used to know it word for word. It basically says, I'd rather the word of God be used in everyday language with someone that actually knows what you're talking about. You don't even have to finish your sins a lot of times. Got it. <clears throat> the things of God cannot be understood stood by the natural man. So walking with my prophets and doing the things they do is automatically a instance of, yep, I'm definitely in that one, I can tell. Whereas many cannot tell if I'm in someone or not because there are competing spirits over your attention and the direction you are going in. Mostly it's going to be if they can get you away from the true Holy Spirit, eventually back to your misery, back to where you're more able to be utilized for evil. What I saw in Prodigals is you were used mostly to sabotage and attack my children, and that's not okay. So I was telling all my people yesterday, and remember, this is coming from the spirit of truth. No, I know that you have compassion and empathy and you want to help this individual, but this is what they did and this is what needs to happen. A lot of the devil's ploys are to play that victim. And my kids understand that the devil's going to prey on your compassion and your empathy. But there is a time. Things need to happen in someone's life. When my wife pushes me to do things, and she does, but it's outside of my timing. I try and explain to her, and this is for her as well. Things need to be experienced before I walk in. Because then I'm giving the Holy Spirit to that person and then I give them the choice do you want to help us or not I'm doing for you it has to be the right individual to help you it has to be the right time for that person to help you as a royal priesthood then you are royalty and being taken up in the air sets you apart even more Peter was here, <clears throat> and the usual, whoa, okay, Lord. And I said, okay, so you got a job? Yeah, that was for that time. Those were my steps back to loving your wife like I loved the church. And he said, I thought you came up behind me in a Caucasian person, a Caucasian person, a Caucasian Asian person to test me. And I said, no, that was not me. So even my best, Mary and Peter, have been deceived. So that tells me you probably have too, if you were not sealed with uh, the Holy Spirit during that time. During the great falling away, it was pretty horrific um, spiritually, but it was also difficult to have that feeling of faith that you 
believe all of this is real, your testimony to fall back on. But I used to say objects. I was like, yeah, I remember my Heavenly Father got me this bed. Yeah, I remember I was led by the Spirit, and this is what I was led to. Yeah, I remember when Mary got me all these things. <clears throat> led by the Spirit. And Mary asks me questions, and there's times, well, you have a demon, so whatever I say isn't going to be perceived in a heavenly truth and resonate with you the way it should. I once had a job, and it was like being a sniper in a call center. I could deliver prophetic words over the phone, and then I'd hear a silence, and then I needed to hear that so bad. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is a sensation brought joy to my heart. And I could do that from one center all over the nation. The times you're looking at now, <clears throat> many don't even know who they are following or where they are being led to. You truly have a divided It started as a civil war, I knew it would, but you have a divided um, people that don't understand like my wife, <clears throat> because she was not in Christ at the time, was judged by the law. And you will be judged by the law if you're not covered by my blood. So whatever people believe and how the kingdom of heaven is actually operating perfect 